Hisense has released a ton of phones recently. If you're a little confused as to which one is which, stay tuned to future videos where we actually compare all of them on screen. For now, this is the A5 Pro. This is not the A5, it's not the A5C, and it's not the A5 Pro CC. This is the A5 Pro that is the newest generation that shares the same body and internals as the A5C and Pro CC, but with the A5 black and white screen. Again, very confusing. We will do a video explaining all of this in the future. For now, this is an unboxing of this because we have to show what it is on the inside. And this is part of their new lineup of phones. So we have to show you. So first, the box. It's very nice, it's very shiny. You can see the, the nice kind of rainbow sheen you have that, Hisense logos on both sides, and the info down at the bottom. You do see it is the HLTE version, four gigs RAM, 64 gigs on board. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. The first time, we have never seen it either. I uh, actually just received this. So you do get your charger. This is a standard American, Canada, Japanese charger with the two prongs and a USB on the back. So make sure you don't lose that. Although you don't really need it because you can always just charge it with a computer. I'm gonna put that off to the side for a second. Again, this one is not the one with the color screen. That's the Pro CC. So you will see that they give you this little card. Oh, it's actually a really nice card. It's made of plastic. You can see there is a little bit of a texture on there, on this piece. It makes that little uh, wobbly noise when you shake it. So it is a plastic chunk. This is very high resolution for this uh, little promotional card. If you guys do know uh, Chinese, I mean, we can obviously use Google Lens to translate it, but here and now, leave a comment down below if you can shed some light on what all that says. And now we're going to go through every single page of the user manual. No, I'm just joking. We're just going to show it and you can pause the video at any point in time if you lose yours and you want to see what it says. We have some more information here. This is just some ownership manual kind of thing that used car manual or cars give you in those uh, user manuals. You can see it's just you know, discretionary stuff. You don't really need to hold on to that. You're here for the phone. So you do have your little ring, uh, ring shaped SIM removal tool. Don't worry, it is not keyed. It is not proprietary. All you need is uh, the back of an earring, the uh, paper clip, anything like that will do it. So you don't have to worry about that. And the rest of the box houses the USB cable. So this is a USB-C with a full USB on the other end. Let's put off all this to the side and explore the device itself here. So this should slide out. It did on one of the videos, but then it didn't on another one because it's actually extremely tight. And uh, you might have noticed I have incidentally turned it on when I squeeze the side. So that's fine. We'll do a first time boot up. A lot of you guys complain that we don't do first time boot up. So there you go. So you can see it is the black and white monochrome. And uh, this device actually comes with a matte screen protector. And if you've noticed in our previous video with the A5C, came with a gloss screen protector. Screen protector. That's to exemplify and amplify the colors on the screen. This one is more of an e-reader centric kind of thing, black and white. So they actually just use a matte screen protector. But if you take that off, you will notice that the screen is inherently fully mirrored. So if you take this off, you're gonna have a mirror finish on your phone. So beware of that. You have the SIM with the, that is the e-ink button. We know that now. This is the e-ink button. We'll explain that in the review. Power button, volume up and down, USB-C with a speaker and a microphone and a 3.5 mil headphone jack, as well as fingerprint sensor, which you did not get on the A5. And you get a camera and you get another microphone up top. So that is everything that comes along with it. We're not gonna go any more into a first time boot up other than, it looks like I accidentally maybe pressed 
the volume up and down at the same time because uh, it's going into a recovery mode. So it, it is just a black and white screen. There's nothing really to show on there. So stay tuned for the full review where we will show this thing in depth as well as, as we mentioned, stay tuned for a kind of full lineup video of the entire lineup of a5 devices because it's only been a couple months and they've released four so it's getting a little convoluted and we're gonna have to start explaining what they are doing for now this is an unboxing of the a5 pro black and white e-ink smartphone by hisense <laughs> 